and welcome along and welcome to this first look. This is a first look at Fenton Forest. Um, this is a map by Stevie, uh, who has been uh, quite a prolific uh, farming simulator map maker, especially in FS17. Uh, this, I believe, is his first map for FS19. And, uh, and wow, I'm just looking at where we're spawning in. This is quite a detailed map straight off the get-go. Uh, as always, uh, with my first looks, uh, I have only gone as far as adding myself a vehicle into the map and uh, and then uh, getting it back here. So that's all I've seen of the map. Um, and we're, we're going to have a look around it. We're going to go and have a drive around and see what's on offer. Now, the first thing that I will say that struck me, having seen the, the map, and we'll actually bring it up on screen here... Um, is that this is a very familiar map layout. Uh, so while it's while there have been some massive changes, so the bottom of the map very much has changed and the side of the map has changed, uh, you can see in the general layout that this is based on Felsburn. So this is this is uh, at its heart a Felsburn edit, but having said that, there is a, a massive massive amount of change that's happened to the map um, and you'll see that as we go around uh, you can see the fields that he's added really um, although actually looking at looking at the whole map the, the whole field layout has changed so yeah okay maybe not uh, it is uh, it is a massive edit of Felsburn so uh, yeah it, it's you can see it in his heart but it's more than that uh, and we're going to go around the outer road mainly uh, I'm intrigued on the new roads up the top, uh, where the sawmill and things used to be on Felsburn. I'm just, I'm just intrigued to see how this goes. I'm thinking we might have a forest up the top, uh, but yeah, let's have a look and see how this map is. And first things first, we need to have a vehicle, and we're not taking, uh, we're not taking the rather nice black, uh, black truck that you get with the map. We are taking, as always, one of the Gators, uh, which I will be doing really until we get. Uh, until I get the Land Rover done. Uh, so straight off you've got, uh, so this is farm, uh, this is new farmer mode we're on. So we have everything that you would start with in that mode. And uh, straight off I'm liking the edited chickens here, it's very good. Um, we've got the main farmhouse here, standard farmhouse. Looks like we start with some sheep. Uh, and this is just, this is just an amazing looking farm as well. Uh, there, it's a really well constructed. It's absolutely huge. Uh, it takes up, you know, sort of the entire bottom half of the map. So this is this is very much, and you can tell it by the the, the field layouts. Uh, this is designed to be a large, uh, large equipment farm. Absolutely, and you can see actually, we're driving through the farmyard, and I'm just giving a general feeling of this farmyard, uh, and you 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 can see the size of the stuff. So I think this would be a very good, uh, a very good multiplayer map from the looks of things. So I, I think it would work wonderfully as that. Uh, it is definitely a big, it's a big farm. So it's it's kind of got an American feel to a European map. So it's a little bit of a mishmash uh, of things like that. Uh, but it's yeah, it is it is quite quite a nice farmyard. This. All your animals are in, in one area, you've got all of them around here. And it's not just the standard animal areas. So there has been some work that's gone into to new animal pens and things from the looks of things. Uh, looks like you have a, yeah, you have a combine and a lorry out there. Yeah, ready to start. Uh, yeah, and just in general, I'm liking that farmyard. Uh, we'll probably come back around to it later, but it, it does look nice. Uh, and this is this is a nice looking area of the map. I, I do like this driveway down here. Uh, there's a lot of detail put into this. Uh, it just it works it works well. It works really well. So we head out this way and uh, and head round here. Go clockwise clockwise around the map. Uh, it does have a train in it. Uh, the train line for the most part looks untouched to me. Uh, so it's almost as if it's been built around that, but it's uh, it's looking good. I'm liking it. New field uh, one out to the left. Uh, 
wood wooden uh, wood area to uh, our right, and uh, and yeah, just up the side here, and it's it's we don't on farm manager we only we own field one. Oh, sorry, uh, new farmer. We own field one, which was the one that we just saw to our left, and we own field two, which we'll come to at the end. Uh, but the roadways. Some of the roadways I recognise and some of them I don't. That, I think, that I do recognise. I do recognise that one. And that's that's the thing. It's the road network more than anything else, I think, that, that um, reminds me of the original map. That, that tells me what this was based on. Field layouts, as I said, are totally different. Uh, and have, have been completely reworked by the looks of things. Which means some of the dirt roads have been removed. So it's mainly the uh, it's mainly the main roads. Uh, we're turning here because we have a cell point right here in the docks. So that is uh, that is our first cell point we've come across, and we're just going to move our way up the docks here. So coming off the main road, so that we can have a look here. And it's yeah, it's it's basically the same docks as we have on Felsburn. Uh, this one hasn't been reworked, and I have a feeling the docks in the uh, the, the area in the bottom right-hand corner is the same. And then, and, and I, I should point out, don't get me wrong here. This is this is not a criticism of the map, I'm just pointing out those areas that have been reworked and those areas that that haven't and are, and are very much the same. And so similarly to uh, to the other map, we have a cell point up here. So I don't know how many in certainly in this area here. I don't know how much of it has been changed. We've got not got the camera collision uh, mod in here, so we do have that where we're uh, where it's going to zoom in a bit. But you can see, I mean, this bit here, right here, is just is very, very, very familiar. So before we head up there, we do have the BGA in here as well. So just to our left, we've got the BGA in here. Again, that's purchase point for the um, uh, for the digestate. We have a cell point there. What well, looks like a cell point there for the I'm guessing, yeah, for the for the silage. Uh, two nice big silage clamps, uh, which is all good. Uh, right, so we do have some new cell points up this way by the looks of things. It looks like we might have more cell points on this map as well, uh, which is good. So we'll head up here. So yeah, I'm not really sure what I'd class this map as. Um, I think it would. I think this this map. One of the reasons why I've downloaded this map and I'm taking this first look at it is because I have I have an idea for a series I want to try out. And I think uh, as it's a series that that may or may not work, uh, I want to uh, I want to try it on this map. I want to try it on a map that uh, that I probably wouldn't normally have chosen to play. And uh, and so that's what we, that's why we're looking at this. This is why I want to do this first look. See how appropriate this is. Now, what do we have in here? Here in here, uh, we have uh, the sawmill. Uh, that's fantastic. Looking good. I'm liking the pink sides. I don't, uh, that's I mean that's very different to uh, the standard. Uh, and wow, nice big placeables area up here. So uh, yeah, if you want to do a logging set on this map, and this map does suggest that that it would be a good map, the name of it suggests that, and certainly I think as we go up into the woodland here, we may find that. Um, that's a really nice area to set up your farm, uh, right here, right where you're looking to sell all your wood as well. Uh, we are going to head up into here, and this is so this is very very new. Um, I am liking the look of this an awful lot and this this works so this is the forestry area and and, and I'm getting I, mean, I get the distinct feeling that this is very much one of the highlights of this map uh, is, is coming into this forestry area I'm I'm really really liking the level of detail the level of um, sort of the roadways and uh, and sort of the, the log piles and, and everything. I think we're going to get at the top here. Looks like we've got a couple of viewing platforms. But this is not what I expected. This is not what I expected on this part of the map at all. And it just... Wow. 
I really, really like this. It's it's got this winding road. So when I when I first saw this road on the map, I thought, oh, that's that's the roadway that we 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 have on Felsburn. You know, that's going to be exactly like that, and it's and it's you know, and it's not. This is driving up here does not give me that feeling at all. And one of the things will be interesting is when we get up the top here, is to to pop out. So here, if we look out over this. That, that is not giving you that feeling at all. That does not look like, look like the map it's, the map it's constructed from at all. And I do like that. I do like that with so many edits of the standard maps, they just look like the standard map and you, you know, it doesn't bring anything new to it. This is, this is very, very different. This is, this has had a lot of time and a lot of work on it and if and as i said if it didn't have the road system uh the original road system in it i would not know that what this that, that this was based on that and uh, and it's and as i said and so it's something i got wrong as well because up here i thought this was going to be an area that i knew and it's not so wow this is this map is is blowing me away in ways i had not expected and again if you're doing a logging operation, fantastic to do it up here. That's, you know, base your farm up here, base your, your logging center up here. It really works. It works so well. And it's, it really does feel like there's a lot of, um, a, a lot of detail that's gone into this. And it's, and as a result, it, it really, it really is quite a gorgeous map. And I don't, I don't wish to sound right. I have played Stevie's maps in the past, um, and it's one of those things where a lot of the time it's, it's very uh, rectangular. It, it tends to favour rectangular fields. So I mean, my biggest surprise was coming into this map and seeing a whole load of field shapes. Absolutely brilliant. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm very much like it, and I'm hoping that that's going to be one of the things that he does with his maps uh, in FS19. Uh, but yeah, this is... So we've got an unloading point for wood up here for the train, which I'd love to... That would make... That just makes this... It makes the train useful if you do forestry and locking up here. And it does... And then this swings round, and it's... And you have to work your way back down. So that's pretty cool. And we're gonna, I'm gonna sort of work my way across here. I wanna have a look at this woodland area uh, in a little bit more detail and work our way down the map that way. Uh, we do, we could do with going back down uh, where we were. Uh, and we are, yeah, we're a few minutes into this. But that is just, it's a really a nice forestry area. Fairly sparse one. Uh, but I don't think that's the end of the world. And it's, wow. <laughs> yeah. It's not an area you could farm. So it's not really a homesteading area, this. But it does look really, really nice. And I'm going to, yeah, I'm just going to come over here to the edge. And again, we're going to look over the side and, uh, and see what there is. As well as we could have driven along the railway track, but I want to come and have a look at the, the stuff around there. And again, you come over here, we'll take the map off. That does not look like the map this is based on, or that this is built from, at all. So yeah, um, as I said, if yeah, if I didn't know, if I couldn't see it from the road layout, that is, yeah, that is amazing. That is a really, really well done. You look out anywhere over here. And it's, uh, yeah, that's brilliant. So let's get back to our, um, we'll, we'll just tab back to our thing and head back towards the roadway, I think. At the moment, we're threatening driving down the uh, rock face. I don't want to do that, really. But it's... There's some very nice touches on this map. Some very, very nice touches. And as I said, it's had a lot of work done to it. A lot of a lot of stuff to c 
customize it to the point where it really is a completely different map. Right. Ooh. I want to come up past this lookout tower because we can rejoin the road here and head back down the mountain. So what we'll do is we'll head back down the mountain. I will pick this back up once we get back down to the sawmill uh, and we'll have a look at the rest of the map. So we're coming back across the railway bridge there. There goes the train underneath and, uh, and we're back down to the sawmill here so it's uh yeah i'm i'm loving that forestry area that forestry area has a really nice touch to it has has just so much work gone into it oh let's not hit the barrier and you got the train going through that is not something that exists there's several presumptions i've made on this which just haven't turned out and amazes me really does right we're going across the top here and i'm i'm just sort of blown away by this i'm not while i'm while i'm still convinced that this map is is based on uh on felsburn there's nothing here. but there's there's more edited on it as i drive around there's far more edited on it than i thought there was far more that's been changed i don't think that more than maybe Five ten percent of the original map exists on here, and and those bits that do have been have been altered for the most part um, beyond being recognisable from what they were. So uh, yeah, that is just it's absolutely stellar. This map, I'm I am impressed. So we've got a cell point. Again, another placeables area. So he's he's built he's built into this quite a few areas that that you could do as um, yeah, the entrance to this area is in here. I um, mean your cell point is what is in here. But again, nice placeable area here for you to build a farm. And uh, nicely in the middle of the map. So so as a uh, as, as far as catering for all the different farm modes, uh, this this really does work. This this really has the ability for you to go right. I want to start my farm over here, or I want to start my farm here. It's it's really well thought out from that point of view. Um, and again, this is this is a perfect example of uh, a bit of road and stuff that exists in the original version of this map. That I'm driving around it and going, wow, that is that is almost unrecognizable if it wasn't for the shape of the road uh, and and for me for me knowing from that 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 would not be uh that would not be something i'd, I'd know and then having things like a grain store uh, a, a cell point so that's a that's a another cell point that's a grain mill i think uh, having that there and yeah i am absolutely loving this and there are, I have to say, there are areas where the road network has been changed. So, for example, here, where we where we have a cell point, that used to go up into the mountains there on the original. So it's yeah, and we have another. So we have another logging yard here, uh, another another sort of sawmill yard. I think this actually does wood chips more than anything. Yeah, so this is a wood chip yard by the looks of things. So maybe a biomass heating plant or something like that, I think. Which is good to see. And yeah, and here is here is my example of where the road network has changed. So we've actually got so we've actually got the original turn left in here. But you can see where it's been cut off. So that it no longer goes into that field. So that you go into the garage here. So that is that does look a very slight bit awkward. It works, but it does look a little bit awkward, uh, as, <laughs> for, for my thoughts. Um, and it's yeah, it's it, it is going very nicely. This. And we've got another cell point over here, and it just looks yeah. 
So on the map, we don't have, we do have something out towards that way. I do want to go and visit, uh, what I'm going to do actually is, before we get too round, not far around here, I'm going to cut in uh, because I want to go and have a look. This is Fenton Mill. I want to go and have a look and, and cut round a bit and have a look down here and just see really, again, another bit of road that should be recognisable and absolutely isn't. And that's that. That is. It's, I find myself being very repetitive about this point, but it is, it is something that you quite often you go in and you see a, uh, a an edit, um, and uh, and you just feel like you're driving around a modified version of the original map, and it is just is not happening here. It's just there's enough to make me twinge but not enough to make me go ah, I'm, I'm you know if I want to play this map I'll play Felsburn no this is this is completely different and of course this is this is the normal this is where the starting yard is in Felsburn and again that is just that does not feel like the same place it's just yeah it works and it works well right we're gonna head around here on a casual glance, you wouldn't know. You absolutely wouldn't know. So I head down here, and down the bottom of the road here is the shop. And as we reach this point, yeah, there we go. So that is, so this is the one bit that does, uh, along with the docks, really does scream it. Um, it's got some nice tractor models here, and it, uh, but it, it being the Felsman shop, uh, it, it really does feel a little bit like that. You've got the shop out front. You've got some uh, those those are Steigers, so he's got the Steigers in here, which is quite cool. And I think we have a, a different. I don't remember this bit being out here that you can drive through. And in, I know it's just a, it's just a house out the back here. I am liking this and this will fit what I want to do this will fit what I want to do really quite nicely and uh, let's have a look at the map do we want to turn down here and yeah we've got a grain elevator off to uh, off down this road here so we'll head down here Again, uh, very. This, this is this is the bits that that I you, you kind of go. Ah, okay, this is based on that map. But they're bits. They're bits of the map that I don't think you often will use, or that you will often go down. Uh, and it is just that that five ten percent of the map that isn't isn't altered that much. Uh, we are heading off. Uh, to the left here and round and again the port area here we'll, we'll have a look at the actual cell point on the way back but you can see uh, the port area here is is not massively changed and I would guess by the looks of it the same is true of this cell point too However, the the road, I don't know actually. I'd need to I'd need to go further around. The road system is uh, is yeah, it's the same. Yeah, so we got it's, this is this is definitely the same uh, cell point as uh, as we had on previous versions of this. And again, there's no route out on this corner. Right, there we go. So we'll head back out and head back up to the road and then go and have a look uh, go and have a look at the other docks or look at the docks which is uh, which I think yeah again is uh, is pretty unchanged and I don't I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing uh, as I said it's it's more an observation than uh, than an issue uh, and, and and you know 
if it works it works and uh, and as long as the, the rest of the map you can see the work that's gone in again another big placeables area here so if you want to set up a farm right let's go around if you want to set up a farm there you go you've got another placeables area down by the docks here it's it's just there is that is quite nice I, it, it takes a lot of the the stress out of building a farm uh, there we go, sell points in here in the docks and we should be able to just move around and yeah, we can cut back out of here. So that's useful. There we go, and back up to the main road. And out we go. So uh, yeah, we're gonna cut through the town now and, uh, and have a look at that. And uh, we have got uh, we've got the spinnery to the south of here. So we're going to turn left at this point and head downwards. It's a fairly... Uh, you can tell how detailed this map is uh, by the amount of time we've taken. And we've, we've taken about 25, 26 minutes at the moment to drive around what we've driven around. And there's, it, it's just a, quite a, a nice amount of, uh, of detail here. Now this is, uh, I think we've got animal stuff here, and stressing traditional, okay, is this, I think this might be, no, that would seem to be a sell point of, for wool maybe? Certainly we're not, we're not buying any animals at it, uh, I want to go out the other end actually, so down here, there we go. Oh, it's... yeah. Now, I haven't driven around the town in Felsburn enough, really, to uh, to know exactly uh, how much like the original this is. But we certainly seem to have barns, and these these fields to the south are new fields. Uh, they're not bits that we're... Um, uh, that, that we previously had. And, and to be perfectly honest, uh, the, oh, that was the spinnery we'd just been to, so that would explain things. Uh, but it's... It, it's interesting in that, um, I, you know, I don't, and that, that does make a big difference having that out that way. Uh, we want to go up this road. Uh, no, not up that one. Uh, that, that does take you into the middle of the town. So I think that is fairly unchanged. And I think that's where the big um, statue is. So that would, that would be interesting. And maybe I should have popped up there. Uh, we are looking for the animal supplies there, and I, this is straight ahead of us, I think might be it. Certainly it's another cell point. So we've got another cell point in here. Uh, and uh, yeah, I think this is the animal dealer as well. I think if we jump out at this point, we will find that this is the animal dealer. Yeah, there we go. So uh, that's quite cool. And there's, there's another cell point up here. I am just gonna, quickly backtrack and, uh, and go and have a look at the centre of the town. I, I think that that is fairly unchanged and it would, wouldn't would surprise me at all if I found that was fairly unchanged. That is a house, we're going to cut across country then because I want to get in amongst this and have a look. Do we have a big enough gap in here? I think we might, yes, have we got a big enough gap here to get this through take us into the middle of the town and no it is completely changed uh, we do not have the uh, the animal statues in here still still very much the same layout um, but yeah definitely uh, yeah you can't get through there but definitely uh, at least been rearranged a little bit again to try and pull it away from the, the sort of standard oh this is this is just an edit it's it's this map this map is far far more than an edit just an edit of Felsburg. it really really is uh, and i'm impressed by that i'm impressed by the the amount of work that's gone into to make this far more than that uh, and that's a good thing to see i'm i'm yeah I really, really, and that is a that is a massively good thing to see. And there's lots of extra options 
that the, the original doesn't have a, as well, of course. So we go south here. Again, uh, we have a placeables area. The great thing about these placeables areas as well is that if you wanted, you could turn them into fields. <laughs> you know, there, there is that possibility as well. So if you don't want to build a farm in that area, then, then you could turn it into a smaller field or something like that. So, uh, yeah. Field two, to our left, we own. Uh, again, nice big field, uh, very square. Uh, I'm, I, I think I'd quite like to have seen the new field. The new field areas are irregular shapes, um, but the fields that are in them are are not. They're uh, they're very very square shapes. And uh, and then yeah, here we go back to Fenton's, Fenton's Forest Farm. Back down this way. So that's that is um, that's an impressive map. I uh, yeah, I'm I very very much liking the uh the detail on it the look on it it's uh, it's working well and uh yeah should work well for what we want to do as well so uh, i'm looking forward to doing uh, to having a go with it uh nice big fields nice big uh, setup we get a few frame rate drops which is interesting uh, but now uh, we've made it back to the farmyard let's take a quick look uh, through uh, what we own uh, so what fields do we own and what vehicles we own and uh, and we'll go from there. So let's uh, have a look first at what fields we own and what sort of prices we're looking at for our fields. So we own fields one and two, as I said, um, the price. Wow. So fields one and two is part of this massive area at the bottom, which is valued at nearly half a million. So, yeah, that's that's quite big. Uh, quite expensive area. Uh, interesting looking at the prices. 40000 between the price of field 8 and the price of field 1. So we could be looking. Yeah, I'm looking at the prices on this. And has the same issue that initially... Uh, that initially uh, Marlborough... Uh, Man uh, uh, Marwell Manor had, sorry. Um, the field prices, your starting area on New Farmer is massively reduced in price compared to the rest of the map. And I think I think I would like to see the, the field prices on the rest of this map lower because field 10 is 220 uh, versus 484. That is, yeah. And field 6. 672,000 versus the, the 484. There's a, there's a big disparaging difference there. I'm just trying to find one that is priced at, at hopefully the same price ish. There we go. Field seven, 455 is again within a stone's throw of, of this huge starting area with your farm. So, uh, yeah. And then the forest. To get most of those placeable areas, you've got to spend three million. Wow. So, uh, yeah, I I do have an issue with the field prices. I th I think that they're, 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 those could be done a bit better. As far as uh, what we have in the garage, what vehicles we have, looks like we have a vast array of equipment here. Uh, so we've got a, a 6250R uh, John Deere, a JCB Fast Track 4220, uh, a Fent uh, 943MT, uh, a John Deere 4800R, uh, wow, a Fent uh, 1050, a, nine, uh, a 939 Vario Fent, uh, a Lizard Roadrunner, uh, a, a CR 1090 uh, Combine, a Crone Big M, uh, uh, Grass mo uh, Mower, a Manitou MLT 437, uh, and a Lizard Pickup. Uh, of course, the John Deere Gator we added. Uh, we then got the, the Cramp SB230 uh, 1070 trailer, the Aberon uh, 340, uh, 3401 Strauman trailer. That's a, uh, that's mainly a forage trailer. Um, but we, yeah, we got that as well. It takes a lot more though, of course. Uh, and the Agriliner TKD 302 as well. Uh, New Holland, uh, 45 foot 3162 Draper header. Uh, and a Capello Quasar HS1, uh, HS16. 
Um, Corn Header, the Horse Joker, 12RT Cultivator, the uh, Agrisim Cultiplow Platinum 8 Meter, wow, the Condor, 1500, uh, sorry, uh, 15,001 uh, from Amazon Cedar, uh, the Metris 4102 Sprayer, the Breedle K165, so that's the larger Breedle uh, Solid Spreader. Uh, the Flex 32 Manure Spreader from Samson. Uh, the Joskin Module 2, uh, Module 02 uh, Slurry Spreader. Uh, the, the Coon uh, GF 8712. Uh, Tether, the Coon uh, SR 314 uh, uh, Wind Rower. I think that might actually also be. Uh, no, it's just a wind rower. I don't know if that has a tether function on it, which would make the, the coon one redundant. Um, the Crone ZX560 GD uh, forage uh, forage wagon. The LS, uh, the coon LS B uh, 1290D square baler. The Arkusen FX6372 bale stacker. The Joskin Asquatrans. Seven uh seven three hundred S uh water trailer the Hilaris Stego uh leveler is what that is. Uh so that's a leveling roller. John Deere six four three R uh front loader along with uh bale spike shovel and pallet fork. Although actually yeah, sorry, the bale spike is for the front loader, the shovel and the pallet fork are for the telehandler. You then got the jo uh, couple of John Deere weights, uh, both eleven uh, fifties, an Agco, uh, a couple of Agco six fifty weights, uh, and a cartridge pressure washer. So big farm, big equipment. Uh, the grass stuff you don't have a lot of grass to start off with, so uh, that's uh, a little bit interesting. Uh, but yeah, seems like you have a decent amount of stuff. Last thing to check uh, is animals. So uh, wow, uh, nine pigs. So uh, nine pigs in the large pig enclosure, uh, nine white sheep, uh, one black, which is a nice touch. I do like that. Uh, chickens, uh, two, four, six chickens and a rooster, uh, ten cows and uh, ten black and white cows, and then uh, four horses. So you start off with all types of animals. Uh, interestingly though uh very interestingly you may have noticed in there none of our buildings are sellable so this farm if you start on the other modes this farm you keep oh this farm is available you'd have to spend a lot of money to 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 buy it uh but you if you're starting if you're starting on um if you're starting on farm manager i based on the field prices we saw i would recommend that um but it's yeah, so none of this is removed if you uh, if you start on farm manager. Very very interesting, slightly disappointing. I quite like the idea of all of this stuff disappearing and you you building your own farm from uh, from scratch. But uh, yeah, it seems to be one of those maps where that doesn't happen. Um and uh, and yeah, so overall I'm impressed. Uh, this is uh, this is a nice map. I think this map is going to be perfect for, for what I want to do with it. So uh, look out for at least a single episode, if not a few, uh, on that, depending on whether you guys like what I do with it, of course. Um, uh, and uh, yeah, if you want to check it out, uh, I will put the link to download the map in the description. Uh, it is on Stevie's um, Facebook page, so this is PC only, this map. Uh, which I forgot to mention at the start. I will put that in the description as well. And uh, and yeah, go check it out. I think it's an impressive map. Uh, I think it works well. And uh, and if you're after something that uses bigger equipment or something for multiplayer, I think this map will suit you absolutely fine. For now, though, all that remains is for me to say thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this first look. Please give it a like, drop us a comment, and give it a share. And for all the latest videos and live streams from Virtual Farmer, Please subscribe to the channel and ring that bell and I will see you next time. Goodbye.